Hey everyone, it's Dave Clark from Bayshore Church, and we're continuing our series on spiritual practices that you can incorporate into your life during these shelter-in-place orders. We're praying that you are safe and that you have exactly what you need during these trying times, and we're here to support you in any way that we can, and thought maybe this devotional series might be something that you could add to your life. It's a series where I'm sharing some of the practices that I'm using personally to help reduce the anxiety and to make this sheltering time uh, purposeful and grounded in faith. And it gives me a chance to experiment with some of these practices that I've heard about other people trying and, and doing, but um, haven't really given a lot of space to in my own life yet. Yesterday, we talked about Psalm 4610 that says, Be still and know that I am God. I mentioned that simple breathing exercises can reduce anxiety and help us be still in our spirits so that we can more fully be present in our spirituality and that connection with God. We talked about gentle inhales, not big, violent, sudden gulps of air. You know, they say, take a, a deep breath and go. <sighs> no, it's instead like smelling a flower, gentle. And we try to lengthen the exhale while lasting twice as long as, as the inhale. Now, today we'll do some, a uh, couple of different practices. One of my go-to scriptures in difficult times is Romans chapter 8, verse 26, where Paul talks about when we do not know how to pray or what to pray, the Spirit intercedes for us with sighs that are too deep for words. It turns out prayer isn't as much about words as it is about opening our hearts. It's not about fancy language or getting the request right. God knows what's in our hearts. And so there's that part about sighing, interceding with sighs too deep for words. What's a sigh but a long exhale? In scripture, the words for spirit and breath and soul all have the same root. It can be help, helpful to think about inhaling the peace of Christ, the goodness of God, into every cell of our being and exhaling anything that that goodness, when it gets in there, dislodges. Any bitterness, any anxiety, our fears, those attitudes that, uh, that really keep us from uh, entering into a place of light. So uh, the idea is to gently breathe in the good and gently release anything that is unhelpful to your journey. There's another practice that I'm trying today and it's called a breath prayer. It's something that was developed in the fifth century by some monks who got tired of the long prayers and wanted a go-to kind of prayer that would be easy to memorize and something they could take with them wherever they, wherever they went and to have a simple and easily accessible form of prayer. And what they came up with, the idea is really fun, is to come up with a short phrase from about five to 12 syllable that you can divide into two parts. The first part is for the inhale and then the second part is for the exhale. The phrase can be something like, may I be still and trust in you. We silently pray the first prayer, part of the prayer on the inhale, may I be still. And then silently pray the second part on the exhale and trust in you. still and trust in you. We 
you can do this just a few times to feel its effect. And if you do it a couple of times a day, you'll get this sensation that God truly is as close to you as your very breath. Try this prayer or make up any short two-part prayer that speaks to you. Make it simple. Just have an inhale part and an exhale part. You can even repeat the same couple of words on both the inhale and the exhale. It's your prayer. Make up something that works for you. Give it a shot and see how it may help. It's as easy as breathing. Well, see you next time. If you have any comments or prayer practices or spiritual practices that help you, love to see those in the comments and share them with each other as we we progress through this. God bless you, and we'll see you next time.